couple of years ago, I did a Samsung Notes versus OneNote review, and you guys clearly loved it because it's my most viewed video on the channel. But also, when I asked you on the Instagram and on my community polls for what video you'd like to see next, you wanted to see Samsung Notes versus OneNote again, but better. So, here we are. to another video from HSTV and in today's video as you can see by the video title and the intro we are going to be doing Samsung Notes versus Microsoft's OneNote once again. Now you guys voted for it so this is why we're doing it but if you want more note taking comparisons or other apps you want me to review on Android or PC let me know down in the comments. Now in today's video everything is going to be demonstrated on our trusty Samsung Tab S7 Plus the main device I have been using at university. But wait, what if you are new to the channel? Well, if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, my name is Heen. I'm going into my fourth year of medical school here at the University of Edinburgh. And over my past few years at university, I have been using the Tab S7 Plus to assist me at university with note taking, lectures, and all the rest of it. So if you want to see a whole playlist on the Tab S7 Plus, go and check out that playlist out there. And if you want to see more videos or any questions you want me to answer, put them down in the comments. Now, I have been using Samsung Notes over the past three to four years at university, so you might think this is a little bit biased. However, I know a lot of people who use Microsoft OneNote. In fact, I don't know anyone who uses Samsung Notes. So this is why this is going to be a really interesting comparison. I know that there's been some updates and things as well, so it's going to be a bit different to the comparison we did a couple years ago. So, without further ado, we're going to put out the categories and then see which app wins each category. And we're going to try and do this as fairly as possible. So yeah, let me know who you think is the winner down below and let's get into it. So, starting off with Samsung Notes, this is a free app available on all Samsung devices as well as Windows PC. Microsoft's OneNote is also a free app um, on most devices unless you buy the Microsoft uh, 365 subscription which you will have to pay for. Um, the great thing about OneNote is that it's available on more devices, it's uh, on iOS as well, Apple devices, Android and Windows PC. The great thing about both of these apps is that it is syncable across all your devices different devices so in Samsung Notes you sign in with your Samsung Cloud your Samsung account whereas in OneNote you are signed in with your Microsoft account um, and you can sync as well so the interface on Samsung Notes is really nice and easy to follow as you can see you can create new notes just from the bottom right hand corner there very easy to do you can also straight away add a PDFs directly into your uh, folders and uh, on the topic of folders it's really easy to create a folder you just click up here and you can create a folder creating a folder is really easy as well you can choose different colors you can name your folder and it will be added in and um, you can make folders within folders and um, you can have all your notes arranged like this you can name your notes and pdfs as well and um, jumping onto the side panel here you can see all your folders so it's really easy to navigate and to organize your notes especially when you have this color coordination going on as well and um, within that you can also see all your notes all together and uh, you can also see your uh, locked notes so you can put uh, passwords and things on notes as well for extra security protection and um, you can also have shared notes which is actually a new feature that's coming in it's not fully uh, in integrated in Samsung notes just yet but you can actually collaborate on notes as well you also have your recycling bin uh, settings up in the left hand corner here and um, where you can also uh, look at a different uh, varying options and we'll go into some of that stuff uh, later uh, also on the interface what you have is a search button so you can actually search for uh, different terms that pop up in your notes for example cardiac all the notes that have the word cardiac in them whether that's handwritten or in a PDF or a title of a note that will also come up so um, really easy to navigate actually um, I've never really had an issue especially when I was learning as well to use Samsung notes it was a uh, very easy 
you can organize your notes by the title, date created or date modified um, and yeah it's pretty basic and nothing too complex. Okay so OneNote is a little bit different, we have notebooks instead of kind of folders so you can create a notebook, you can choose where to save that notebook, then within notebooks you can add sections and pages so sections are sort of like folders um, and then you can add a page which is easy enough as well it's not that difficult i would think um also oops i just popped out of that okay um i'm still learning how to navigate one note because this is not my main app that i actually use so i'm kind of learning as i go as well and um, you can also see that we can also search for notes here and um, we'll see how good that feature is in comparison to samsung notes a little bit later on and um, also we have the side button here so we can sync we've got settings we can export notes we can organize um, and i guess the organization is you can drag and drop um, different things over here from the, the folders that you've made and things so um it's also a pretty nice um yeah, it's a pretty nice layout. I don't think it's complicated to understand. Uh, within sections as well, uh, we can, I don't know if we added a section called YouTube and we created that. Um, so I wonder if you can change the color of these. Um, just trying to think about how to do this. Anyways, I can't quite figure out um, straight away how to change the color of these sections because they all seem to be blue at the moment so I quite like having that little bit of extra flexibility and customization in Samsung Notes where it's really really easy to have different color coordinations I'm sure you can probably change the color somewhere but I actually can't figure it out right now All right, let's jump into a note here in Samsung Notes and figure out some of the page customization options that we have. So first of all, we just get a blank page come up. Um, one page, you can have like infinite pages as well, but if we want to have individual pages, they're just normal A4 size pages. Uh, that's the basic dimensions. Um, in terms of more options, we have a variety of templates to choose from, which we can apply to all pages or uh, one page at a time, as you can see. Um, Many, many templates that we can choose from and um, along with these templates actually a really nice thing that they've added is uh, well actually first of all you can add your own um, downloaded templates as well if you want to but you can also download PDF templates so you can make this like a calendar and um, as you can see right here so this is really handy and um, really lovely to have in an app like Samsung Notes, which is not only for note taking, but also for um, organization, just general kind of life um, things that happen and you need to quickly note down calendars, all that sort of stuff. So I think Samsung Notes is doing really well and there's a variety of templates here to choose from uh, right there. Now in terms of uh, the colors, so let's just put our page template back to this page. And um, now in terms of page colors, we go into page settings. Um, we can choose from a variety of different background colors. Uh, one of my favorites that I use a lot is black. Um, I really love that black background. Um, and along with this, we can choose whether we want to have it in um, horizontal orientation, um, scrolling, if we want to have two pages open at the same time, etc. So um, nice page layout customization options available. All right, so going into the page options that we have in OneNote, uh, first of all, when we open up a page, it's uh, already in this like infinite um, page mode. So you can kind of zoom closer and away and things, but I don't really know how to get it into a format where it's like an A4 page vertical or horizontal which is a little bit annoying if I want to print and export notes and things. Um, I think that could be an issue. Um, in terms of other options for the page, so we've got a few templates to choose from such as the rule lines, the grid lines and we've got hide lines. Um, but other than that, not many template options, um, especially when compared to Samsung Notes. Um, then you have page colour. Now there's a few page colours to choose from. Um, which is fine, but what I would have liked is that black page color. Um, now there is one way to get a black page color on OneNote and you have to go into settings right here and you have to go into theme and you choose a dark theme and that will make your entire OneNote black. Now I don't think that really counts as black paper because there's a few issues I found with this dark theme and I'll go into them now even though we're not onto tools properly yet. 
if I um, try to highlight something on the black paper, it does this really weird thing and I don't know if that's just for me or is that for everyone. Um, whereas on Samsung Notes, that's never been an issue. And when I switch back to my lighter theme, then you'll see that the line has been highlighted, but it just wasn't showing up properly on that dark themed paper. So it is really a dark theme, it's not actual black paper. So it would be nice if they could add that feature in too. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the tools Samsung Notes has to offer. The first is our pen tool. Uh, the pen tool, we have a few different pens on offer. Uh, we have these two calligraphy pens, they write really nicely, I think. Um, if you have a look at this one as well. Um, so these are good for, you know, if you're trying to do something fancy. Um, also, uh, you know, Samsung Notes is not only for just writing and taking notes, but it's also artistic as well. This is why we have this uh, pencil as well. You can change the opacity of it. Um, obviously, I don't think it replicates fully a real pencil, but the tool is there, it's nice. We also have the paintbrush tool that you can see right here. Um, other than that, we've got uh, really nice colors to choose from. Uh, and if you want more and more specific as well, you can choose them from the spectrum here. So plenty of options when it comes to the pen tool. Now, obviously when you're taking notes, you want this to be really quick and efficient. So there's an option to make a fav favorites pen bar. Now, all you do is uh, you, if you have like this pen, for example, you put a star on it. You might want this one as well in this color at this thickness and you put a star on it. And then you've got, I've got other ones in here as well. So um, all you then do is using your S Pen, you can simply click on the S Pen button and switch between the different pens without you having to keep on going back and forth to choose your pen. Now the next tool that we've got is the uh, highlighter tool. So the highlighter, there's a few different types here as well. We've got straight edge highlighters, also rounded highlighters. Uh, I personally use the straight edge one, but the option for the round one is also there. You can also choose if you want it to be in a straight line or not. Um, so for example here, I can make this a straight line like this. And you can do the same for the rounded one, just like this. So that's that. Then we come to the eraser tool. You've got stroke eraser or area eraser. So for stroke eraser, that's uh, you can actually, you don't even need to select the erase button. You can actually click on your S Pen button, hold it and then erase like this. This is the stroke eraser and the area eraser as well, which you have different thicknesses of, which you can erase like so. Uh, we then come to the lasso tool. There's two types of lasso. Uh, we've got a free uh, lasso and also a rectangle lasso. Uh, depending on what you are trying to do, you can make things bigger, smaller, you can move them around. This is especially handy, I would say, when it comes to making notes, when you're just trying to arrange things around. Um, as you can see, and you know, you can change the style of these, you can straighten, you can copy, paste, all that stuff. So lots of options available when it comes to lasso tool. Uh, these uh, few things up here that you can see, they are just your, again, like your favorites. So they're handy, they're there for you to quickly um, use. Uh, we've got the undo button. We've also then got a few text options. I'm gonna come to them a little bit later. Let's just talk about the drawing options first of all. Um, we've got change style, which is, uh, for example, this line that we've drawn here, we can maybe make this purple and thicker. We go over it and that way we don't have to rub things out and redraw them. We can just have them um, like that. We also have the shape tool. Uh, that you can use uh, like so. Let me choose a better one here. You can draw a circle and it will make a circle for you. You can also you not even have to use the shape tool and you can just draw like this, hold it, and it will make it a circle for you. So slightly different shape tools, but both doing pretty much the same job. And um, that's most of the drawing tools. Okay, so the drawing tools available on OneNote uh, are, are a lot more limited. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, I'm not saying that OneNote doesn't have good drawing tools, it's just less than Samsung Notes. I think Samsung Notes is actually geared for uh, our artistry as well, rather than just note taking. Um, in terms of uh, OneNote here, you can see that we've got the Draw tab, and from here we've got these tools. Now, the different pens we've got here, uh, you can actually switch between them just with your S Pen, so you are gonna have to keep going back and forth. 
um, if you could tap on the pen you can change its thickness uh, the thickness we've got sort of going from like that thickness to about this thickness so I think it's a pretty good spread uh, in terms of the colors that's the only colors that we've got available to us and um, so not really a massive uh, range but you know it does the job especially if you are just note taking I don't think you're going to need very specific shades of blue or red or anything like that uh, we do have I guess this is your favorites pen bar right but you are going to have to keep going back and forth tapping so the pens are all the same there we then have two highlighters here um, again the highlighter tool uh, we can test it out here if we've got the yellow going to make it really thick and we can highlight over this and you can see that um, the, the text or the pen really pops out when you highlight so that's good and uh, same for this um, highlighter as well we then have the eraser tool um, there's not really any other option on the eraser it is just a stroke eraser um, I don't know I think that's maybe a little bit annoying I would have liked an area eraser as well but that's what OneNote is offering. Uh, we also have the lasso tool. Let's check that out. So for the lasso, okay, so again, not many options here. So I assume it is just going to, okay, so it's uh, like a free lasso like this, okay. Um, we can make it smaller. We can make it bigger. We can also move it around. That's nice. But um, I don't think there's any other options like copying and pasting things um, like we had in Samsung Notes. Um, we then have this uh, button over here that says stop. And when you click that, that's going to like put your pen down and you can then start typing. And on this topic, we're going to look at the typing tools available on both apps. Okay, so I've now attached the keyboard to my Tab S7 Plus and as you can see, Samsung Notes detects that automatically and when we open up a new note, we are automatically on the uh, little keyboard feature here. So all of these are the drawing tools and as soon as you click on this little keyboard, that means that you have initiated the text mode. Now, in terms of text, what you can do, so you can obviously add things like um, just normal typing just like this now this text it can be edited and um, so you can do all the same kind of stuff copying pasting all that uh, sort of thing and um, you can make it bold you can put it in italics you can underline you can score through it and um, you can also uh, change the color of the font you can uh, choose to highlight it as well just like that um, you can uh, choose different sizes. The maximum size we've got on here is a 64, just like that. And uh, you can choose to align it to the middle of the page and so on. So you've got kind of like the basic text tools here. Um, if you want, you can also then add uh, like bullet points and things like that. I must say the bullet point options, they are not as varied as you would find on like Microsoft um, in general because obviously OneNote is going to follow the Microsoft template. So let me just put this alignment back to here and show you a few of the bullet points. So this is one bullet point that we've got. So you type your thing and you, you know, you do your thing. And um, you've also got this type of bullet point. Uh, this is like a checklist actually. Um, and then you've also got numbers as well if you want. So I remember back in the day, uh, Samsung Notes didn't actually have this many options for bullet points. They now do, which is fantastic to see. Um, and they're definitely improving it. So that's pretty much all of the text tools. Now there's a few things cool that I wanna show you with the S Pen as well that you can do. So if you go off of the keyboard here, actually, well, to be honest, because the keyboard is attached, you can't go off of that, but you can choose to go into drawing mode. And um, what we're going to do is try out these convert to text features, both of these uh, two on the bar up here, you can see. And um, so for this one, what we're going to do is you basically type your thing. So like this. And you can see that it's typing along with us like here. The other thing you can do is make a text box. So again, you can type something like this. And uh, then when we click this, that is gonna give us HSTV and you convert it and that's um, there now. 
and what you can do is then you can move it around and do whatever you likes with it. So um, a few little cool text features here in Samsung Notes. Okay, over in OneNote then, um, I've got my keyboard attached, but all of the text options are gray. And the reason for this I think they should change this actually. It's a bit fiddly because if you've been drawing previously, you have to go onto the draw tab, you have to click the stop draw and then go to your home. And now when you tap somewhere, you will be able to type. So a little bit fiddly, but just be aware of that. Um, in terms of what you can do in OneNote, pretty much all the stuff that you can do in Word, you've got plenty of fonts here. This is something that Samsung Notes is lacking. We don't have font options. So, um, you know, we can do our normal typing like so. And it just kind of puts it in a text box for you that you can then move around uh, as you wish. Um, we, what we can then do, now again, when you have move it around, I feel like it's a bit blocky. I would have liked it to be a bit more smooth but that's just how it is. Um, we can make it bigger, we can, uh, obviously you've got to highlight it. These are just a few little fiddly things that I'm not a big fan of in OneNote. I guess once you're used to it, um, it, it won't matter so much, but anyways, we can make it nice and big, we can make it bold, put it in italics, we can highlight it. Uh, you've got to make your text box bigger like that. Uh, if you want, you can then go ahead and scroll through it. You can you know, there's lots of things that you can do, They're pretty much the same sort of stuff that you could do on Samsung Notes as well. Now, um, I think the, the familiarity with this is because, you know, almost all of us use Microsoft Word for our dissertations, etc. We're very used to having this sort of toolbar. You've got the same kind of bullet points and um, if you, well, let's just try out a bullet point. So if you just do like that, um, and then obviously we've got, the types of bullet points that you would see um, on, on Microsoft Word is, is the same. You've got those types and you've got all uh, the different um, indents and alignments and all that sort of stuff. Now the stylus uh, menu is here as well so you can do page titles and headings and that sort of thing. So um, lots of potential there when it comes to the typing side of things in OneNote. Okay, so in terms of things you can import into a note on Samsung Notes, you will go to the insert button on the top right hand corner here. And now you can see all the different things that you can do. You can import images, you can open up camera, you can scan things in, you can uh, bring in PDFs, you can bring voice recordings, audio files, drawings and text boxes. Um, so that's uh, what you can do on Samsung Notes. Over on OneNote, you go to the Insert tab and you have some options here. Now again, we're on the drawing, so we have to stop drawing, which is, I think it's just getting us a little bit annoying now. And what you've got is these options here. Now, I don't really know why I can't click these. Maybe I have to click down here first or something. Yeah. Okay. So again, slightly fiddly for me. So you click down here and then you have the option of adding photos, audio, what's this? Okay, this is documents, so again, PDFs, things like that. Um, and because I'm using the S Pen, it keeps putting me on the drawing mode, even though I don't want to draw right now, so I'm just gonna click stop again. Um, tap down here, see, now I've, as soon as I tap down here with the S Pen, it's putting me on drawing mode again. So I'm just gonna go back to my cursor and see if that makes a difference. I'm gonna stop that, I'm gonna go on my insert. Okay. Uh, we've got text boxes, we have got um, this thing here, which is um, like a to-do important question or like a highlight kind of thing. And you also have links that you can put in. Now on Samsung Notes as well, you can put in a link and it will be clickable. So even though it's not a direct option, that is available as well in Samsung Notes, just like it is on OneNote. So that's pretty much all the importing things that you can do. Um, I think that's really good, pretty similar to Samsung Notes. Okay, let's talk a bit about exporting notes. So here I've got a few notes and obviously um, I can do this within a note as well, but let's say I want to export multiple notes at the same time. What I'm gonna do is click the uh, share button here after holding and selecting these three notes. And when I click share, we can share the note as different types, as a Samsung Notes file, as a PDF file, Microsoft Word file, Microsoft PowerPoint file, image file, or a text file. 
um, if I just want to save it to my uh, computer um, or, or my tablet, I can do save as file and you have the same text uh, file types available. So um, that's uh, quite nice, I think. You've got a variety of information um, and types of files to export as in. You don't need the other user to be a Samsung Notes user in order to see your work. Over on OneNote, to export a note, we can go to these three dots at the um, right hand corner and you can go to export and unfortunately with OneNote you don't have as many options. Now I know that the preferred would probably be a PDF or a plain text, however with the Samsung Notes you have it as an image file um, etc etc. So OneNote maybe lacks a little bit here. I can understand though that OneNote is probably a more universal app and um, most devices use Microsoft so you can probably open up a file that way but it would be nice to have other formats to export in. Um, in terms of kind of saving this as a file, um, well again this is OneNote so it's just kind of there on your computer and there's not really any other option to save it as a file. So it's um, a bit different to Samsung Notes for sure. Okay, so all of that's great, right? We've got plenty of tools, we've got lots of good interface, we've got lots of things that we can do on these apps, flexibility, right? However, I think to do a proper side-by-side -side comparison, I actually have to make a note on both of them and then we'll compare them. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually go ahead and uh, show you guys. I'm gonna make a note on both Samsung Notes and one note, the content is going to be the same, but what I'm going to try and do is excel in the tools that they have provided each of the apps. I'm going to try and use as many of the things that uh, each of the apps has to offer so that you can see a potential um, for each of these apps. Okay, so I've tried to show realistically how I would use these apps in a very short note. So I want to show you what I've been able to create in a very short amount of time. As you can see here, um, it was very easy for me on Samsung Notes. Now I would agree that this is a biased opinion because I've been using Samsung Notes for a lot longer than OneNote. Um, I'm very familiar with all the tools, but everything just seemed to flow. Everything was very easy. I wasn't glitching anywhere and um, it was just, yeah, easy to navigate, I guess. The other thing I tried to do in this uh, video, actually, um, for this video, is test out the audio. And I think that the auto audio worked out really well, as you can hear right here. This is a note on cardiac anatomy, the basics described through a diagram, structures have been labelled. I would say that's uh, pretty clear and you can see I didn't have any trouble drawing my heart. I decided to go for the black background because that is normally what I prefer anyway. I used a little bit of typing, that was really easy to use the text box tool. And yeah, just overall really nice, smooth to write and draw on, whether it was typed or um, with the S Pen. Okay, let's go into OneNote and take a look at what I managed to create over there. Okay, so I don't know what it was with OneNote, if it's something to do with tablet compatibility or if it's just me getting used to where things are. Um, I found it very difficult. I found it really hard to move these text boxes. And I don't know why that is because I was thinking that OneNote is probably gonna be much stronger and much nicer for typing things but I found it very difficult. Um, when it came to drawing the actual heart, I think actually that was fine. It provided me with all the tools that I needed. It would have been nice to have the lasso tool a little bit more convenient because right now it's really weird. Like I don't know how to really 
work it if that makes sense um so i don't really like the lasso tool as much as i said my main issue with one note when i was creating this note was moving things around um then it came to the audio recording which again i don't know why it's come under in this text box and i was unable to move it as well so i just gave up i don't have that much time you know so i want to just play this audio recording to you now this is the basics of cardiac anatomy explained through a diagram structures have been labeled coronary vessels have not uh, the diagram shows the right atrium. So as you can see, the audio is nowhere near as clear. We do not have the settings like we did on Samsung Notes to change the speed or to forward the recording or go back. Um, it is also now stuck in that text box and I don't know how to move it. So yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie, but OneNote, although it had a lot of similar features to Samsung Notes, practically using it, I think it was very fiddly for me and not very efficient. Alright everybody, well that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed this comparison. Let me know if you would like more comparisons and I want to know who your winner is. So let me know down in the comments. Do share this video around, like it and um, you know, let me know how you found it so I can do more of this sort of stuff. And yeah, I think I'm going to see you in my next video guys. Uh, goodbye.